think the scariest part being on the show is failure. That for the last 12 years and really my entire life playing football, I was good at it. Here it's not like that at all. I don't know anything about it. I don't know what the future has in store. I don't know what to expect. To me, the convincing came when my wife and I sat down and you know, we discussed whether we felt like this could be something that would be great for us as a family. Through this process of them talking to us about Dancing with the Stars and, and making this decision, she got more and more excited about it. You know, she watches the show. She's always wanted to, to do the dance thing. And so that's what she told me. She's like, I want to dance along with you. You know, so as you're learning and growing, I want to take some lessons. So when this is all over, you know, we can go out together and we can have a great time. One of the reasons she wanted you to do the show was because she thought that for all of your daughter's weddings, You'll be already ready for the, the father daughter wow. dance. That, that's that's she's good. She's planning ahead. That's, she's very. She's planning way ahead, being that a, I have two that are four years old. But yeah, that, that that's that's a great reason. I mean, to be able to swoop your daughter out there for the first dance in her wedding would be really really cool. And be like really good at it. Oh yeah, too, and just like, and impress do like a everybody. Do whip and a, and, a, yeah. and a lift and like right. a, a dip and That'd flip. That'd be awesome. But right? the problem is, is that. It'd be really nice to do that when nobody knew that I could dance. Unfortunately, everybody's going to know that I can dance, but, but it, it'll still be pretty cool. <laughs> I'm excited to be in the competition and, and to be partnered with Anna. Her, her competitiveness, which I've seen very early in this process, is going to be a good thing. That uh, I think she's going to uh, be like one of those tough, in-your-face type coaches that I've had in the past that just kind of Here's what you're doing wrong, fix it. We need you to fix it. And she's not gonna give me any leeway. And so uh, it's gonna challenge me, it's gonna motivate me, but I think the competitor inside of me is, is gonna step up to that challenge and I think it's gonna be good for her. I think the challenge for me is gonna be figuring out the technique. You know, can I be in the right position? Posture, posture, posture. My posture be right. All those little things I think are going to be the biggest challenge for me and can I make that transition. The biggest challenge with athletes is that they need to kind of come out of their um, shell a little bit and start to perform in it. Because with like football players, when you guys are on the field, you don't have to, you know, think who you throw in the ball and smile at the same time and, you know, shake your shoulders as you're doing it, which is in dancing, it's kind of important. Like the performance part, the, you know, the smiling and making it look easy, that's going to be um, probably a new thing for you, Kurt.